Sorry. Well, thank you. You know, I'm, I'm always talking with families in my home state of Washington about what matters to them, and that drives my focus here in this Washington. So what I'm focused on is fighting inflation and bringing down costs. We need to get products people need on our shelves, and we need to build an economy that leads the world in innovation, but that also leads to good-paying jobs for workers right here at home. Well, soon we're going to be voting on this bipartisan bill to make progress on these cha challenges by tackling the ch chip shortage, which is constricting supply chains for electronics, it is driving up costs, and it's even threatening our national security. Back in Washington State, we know a thing or two about manufacturing chips. We are one of the top 10 states when it comes to making semiconductors. And we also know how much it will cost our country in the years to come if we do not invest in keeping up with our global competitors, not to mention how much the ship chip shortage is costing families right now through higher prices. A big part of the problem is that our nation's semiconductor manufacturing industry has been losing jobs to other countries. It is half the size it was in 2001. The legislation we are voting on today will help reverse that trend so we not only protect the jobs of thousands of workers in Clark County and King County and across the country, but we also create new jobs by investing in semiconductor product production, especially our small and medium-sized manufacturers and suppliers, and we stop these jobs from being lost to competitors overseas. And let's be clear, this is about cost, too. This will be a big deal when it comes to getting supplies on the shelves and getting prices down and fighting inflation because the chip shortage, it affects everything. We're talking about cell phones and kids' toys and medical devices and refrigerators and cars and a lot more, you name it. This is really, really important to our supply chain, strengthening it is a common sense step we can make right now to bring down costs. Democrats are pressing forward with solutions, not sound bites, strengthening our supply chains, investing in American manufacturing, and lowering everyday costs for everyone. And we're going to stay focused on tackling inflation every way that we can while building an economy that works for everyone. Senator Stabenow. 